forget the day. Whatever day I had my fertility appointment, that's what today is. But yeah, so it's someday in August. It's August 1st, right? Yes, it's August 1st. I don't know why I didn't think of that. But anyways, it's August 1st. Um, I had my fertility appointment today and it, it went pretty good. There's a spider web in here. I have two eggs that are about 12 to 14 millimeters, I think she said. And I have to wait until Tuesday to get my trigger shot and to see how far along those have been going. So I wait till Tuesday to see if everything works out. But I'm, I'm thinking everything's gonna work out, or at least I'm hoping everything's gonna work out because I think it would be great to have two eggs. We were talking about like, oh, if it was a possibility of us having twins, we would have twins. Um, if we could pick, if we could have twins, we would have twins. So I think it would be really cool to find out that we would have twins. I have money in here. And I think I'm gonna get something to eat. I'm right by Round Tables Pizza. I'm currently on my lunch. I only had a 30 minute lunch because I got here late, but that's fine. I guess. But anyway, so when I went in, um, things went really fast as usual, but she saw that I have one egg on my right side, and I think that's the one that's like, well, no, I think that one's like 14 millimeters. It's either 14 or 13, but I'll just say 14 millimeters, and then the one on the right side is 12. I mean, the left side, sorry. <laughs> so, right side, 14, left side, 12. So I don't know if the trigger shot is gonna make both of those eggs drop, or if it's just gonna make one of them drop, but either way, it's like I have a higher chance of having a baby, I believe. And I asked her how come um, my whole fertility didn't work last time exactly, and she said it could have been because I only have like a five to eight percent chance of it actually working. So that's not a big chance. That really like knocks down my my hopes. And so I'm hoping that since I have two eggs that it went from a 5 to 8% chance to like, I don't know, a 20% chance or even 15% chance. Like that would make me feel better just a little bit because it's, yeah, it's frustrating. And then it's not like, you know, everybody fully understands like what you're going through. So you'll tell them, you're like, oh yeah, you know, this is the percentage that I actually have and terrible they're like this is the percentage that I actually have to actually have a baby and then they're like oh well whatchamacallit try not to think about it or you need to keep your mind off things or something and it's one of those where it's like I physically work with kids daily and so for me to have to try and keep my mind off things it, it's basically me just not going to work so it's either I continue to work or I don't go to work that day. Because if they want me to keep my mind off things and keep my mind off the fact that it's like, okay, I'm not getting pregnant, but then I'm working around a bunch of women who are pregnant and who are walking in and out, like, oh yeah, you know, I just found out I was pregnant with my 12th child. And you're like, oh, yay, that's awesome. I'm super happy for it. It's hard to be really like you're happy for the person but after a while they can tell that you're like hurting on the inside so that's the frustrating part but besides that the things are going pretty good with Tim I guess he passed one of his license says he needed today and so he's super excited about it I tried calling him but no answer so yeah but I'll have the video of my appointment attached sorry about the ending of it um, I was trying to sit up so my legs wasn't up in the air the entire time and I kind of made the camera move a little bit or a lot of it but yeah oh you know what I do have a question not a question but something I would like to ask everybody 
so I am currently doing with just the femera and the trigger shot and then we're baby dancing naturally obviously like at home I think that we might have a higher chance of getting pregnant if we do an IUI for those of you who've had IUIs or who are currently trying like what's your step like we've done this would be round three technically of femera and second time doing the trigger shot so what do you guys think should we continue just to do what we're doing where it's like okay you know we're gonna take the trigger shot and then we do the baby dance at home and then we see if it works or should we do the IUI and see if that works I'm kind of stuck I don't know what to do but I have until Tuesday to figure it out because I think she thinks we're doing the insemination, but I, I don't know yet. So I want to tell her Tuesday if we're not going to do that. So yeah, tell me what you guys think. Um, leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching my videos, and I will talk to you guys next time.